I will be cooking. This is called bulgur from Sierra Leone. People use quinoa as a substitute for bulgur in the UK and other parts of the world. People use couscous, but I love it. This, I love it. So we're going to be cooking together today. I have all the ingredients right here, which I'm going to show you. I have the salt. I have this. I have cooked meat already. I'm going to be cutting it into this is I have meat and um, um, chicken, but it's our own chicken from Africa, not the English chicken. I hardly eat the English chicken and I have a hot pepper sauce that I buy for my friend who is called Mafini in London. I have my tomato paste. I have my oil and this is already blended. It's going to be like the gravy or the sauce too to this so guys let's go straight into the so i'm gonna put the oil in the fire not in the fire in the pot on the fire a little bit of oil because i don't want it too oily and whilst it's warm i'm just gonna put this inside the oil and then i put my meat <laughs> I'm gonna fry the meat in the gravy all together. When I buy meat from the market, I try to um, wash them, boil them, put it in the freezer. So when I'm ready to cook, I don't have to go through all the boiling stuff. So it makes things easier for me. And I think I need a smaller fire side. I don't need a big one. Some of them are bony, so I won't be able to actually cut them. Chicken. This chicken is going to be like too much in the food. I don't have so I hope this thing works at home. So I'll just open this. I'll put a little bit in it. Teaspoon, two teaspoon, and then I'll put the rest in this bowl and put it in the fridge. Whilst it's frying, I'm going to be washing this part in the bowl where the meat was. Put a bit of a pinch of salt. Frying guys, and let me show you in the pot right here. I'm gonna be washing this whilst it's frying. So, reason why you have to like wash it is so dirty. You can see the water right here. So. Gonna give it another wash. So 
So now I'm gonna be cooking it with just a sprinkle of water. Not too much water. Into my hands. This is what they used to do, KB. If some of you don't know, I don't know if you know KB. It's a very nice snack. So I'm gonna taste for salt. Going to taste for salt. You see. I'm going to leave it to fry a little bit before I add teeny mini water, sprinkle water, not because I don't want it to be all soggy after cooking it. So I need a bit more salt, the salt in taste. A bit of spice. My husband is going to be eating this, so I better be careful because this is very, very hot. I'm stirring and um, excuse me. Gonna put in tiny water, just a little bit of this water. Thank Wash my hands. Yeah, and then I'm gonna leave it to boil and then I will check it. I would leave it to boil for like 10 minutes and then I'll come back and check it and see how it goes. Hope you enjoy this cooking video. <laughs> okay, guys, it's finished and I would show you the end result right here. So this is the end result. And that's how you eat it. Just that way. And I will serve it in a bowl and then show you, or in a plate and show you. But yeah, it's already for eating. So this is my small cooking video. Hope you like, subscribe and share. You press the subscribe button down there. Those of you coming and watching and not subscribing, that's not fair. Hurry up and subscribe. See you guys on the other.